want to take you through Microsoft Access uh, ranking, how you rank. Basically, to rank, uh, you need to use a D, a D count. Therefore, uh, in my table, in the database, I have admission number, student, uh, class, string, max. I use the field max to rank. Therefore, basically, I can import some data from uh, Microsoft Excel that I had already created. Therefore, we paste our data here. Uh, we paste, we just copy a bit of some data that we needed to use in our database. We paste that data. We have that eight records. Then I need also to have marks uh, that uh, I will use for ranking. Therefore, I can also paste some marks there. I need to paste some marks. I copy some marks. Then I paste these marks here. Yeah. Then, uh, after doing so, uh, we can eradicate this one. We don't need that data. This is the max that I use for uh, ranking so that we can get the ranks. Therefore, the first step is to create a query. We go to uh, create query in design view. Then we drop our fields. We drop our fields down here in the query grid. Admission number, student, form, class, gender, max. Therefore, then we can test our query. Our query is running. We save it as max, as max q. Uh, then we need to equate this field uh, so that it can be referenced in our d count. We shall use a function called d counts. Therefore, I can call this mark. Then we equate this field max. That is, uh, this field called mark is equal to this so that we can be in a position to get the the marks you see this when you run it it is equating this we shall see it's in it, uh, it's a uh, use in the form when we shall be ranking therefore after doing this we need to create a form we want to rank uh, in our form therefore we shall go to form in design view then you right click you go to form header and footer then uh, you need to tell Microsoft Access. Uh, first of all, we save this form. We can call it a master. We need to tell Microsoft Access where data that will be ranked, that will be used in this form, is uh, gotten from. Therefore, we go to properties. Then uh, here, you must read the form. Then record source. You choose uh, max Q. That is the max query. Then you go to, we have used this, we shall now use this one. We can now arrange our data, you drag and drop. Uh, this is how you create a form in design view. Admission number, we arrange them in order. Then we have form, 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 class, class of the student. Then we have the marks. Max can have the max there. Remember, when we were dealing with the query, we added a field called uh, mark. Now, this field will be equated using a text box. Therefore, you will come at this point. You can uh, have a text box, draw it anywhere. It is text 5. Then, this text 5 is equated to this. Therefore, you just type equals to mark not max now this one will lead this is equals to mark then you go to a uh, text box uh, you add another unbound unbound means it is not from the table or query this is text seven now this point this is unbound this is where we shall type our d uh, our d count formula but before you do that we can add labels on this one uh, for easy identification therefore we have our 
admission number have our admission number we have our name name of the student uh, we have form we have class we have marks we have rank stroke position position uh, from this point you will notice that our form is a bit now organized then uh, you need to pull this form footer up to that point then in our previous video I had shown you how to make a form continuous so that when I run this form it will only display one student but I want this form to display all students therefore uh, you go back to design view you go to properties in the form view uh, in the form view that is when you are in the form view we need to set this one to continuous therefore uh, in our form here we need to set to uh, continuous at this point default view continuous therefore when I now save and run this form you will see every student so that you can be in a position to see the ranks here then we go back we type our formula here now uh, our formula is uh, uh, which we are supposed to use a formula called uh, D count if I type my formula here uh, the D count formula therefore our formula goes uh, equals D count D count uh, then I needed to put some quotation mark uh, what are we counting we are counting marks we are counting marks now this marks of ours is from a query this query is called marks Q uh-huh then from there we need uh, to count inside that query we have a field called max that is the field that we shall be referencing now this field of ours uh, max should be enclosed should be enclosed in square bracket now this field of ours max should be greater than now we reference this text box uh, text 5 and and our field max uh, field max should be greater than zero should be greater than zero we cross the quotation marks we cross our two brackets then plus one so that we can have an increment we shall have an increment this increment is uh, referenced by plus one therefore we can go through our formula d count should it be d count d count therefore we can have this formula for proper viewing copied in a in a text box for proper viewing therefore should be equals to d count uh, we are counting marks from a query uh, from a query called max Q where max where max is greater than the referenced text uh -huh. and and max should be greater than zero then there is okay uh, after looking at the decount, therefore if you look at the the function here, decount, we are counting max uh, from this query queue, a field called max, which is equated to mark as I, I described earlier. And this uh, mark should be greater than zero plus one, that is an increment. Therefore, after now doing this, uh, you will be in a position to to start to see that uh, the 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 ranking the ranking is done therefore if for instance two students score the same mark 
I can now change this one to 233. You also score this one to 233. Uh, then we refresh by pressing a 5. You will notice that the ranking is working. These students, uh, 233, 233, 233, have been assigned the same position. That is uh, the D count. Therefore, basically, uh, D count this function here. D count. D count can be used to to rank. This is the function. You can use this one to rank uh, students. Therefore, we are ranking max from a query called max q, a field called max, which is equated to this one. Remember, I showed you how to equate. To equate is to create a field which is equivalent to that one and here the reference in the text box. Therefore here I used this one to equate so that the computer can be in a position to uh, compare. Therefore thank you very much for watching. Always remember to subscribe uh, on my channel for you to be uh, for you to be in a position to receive uh, new updates on